Oh yeah! Holy moly! I like this! Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today we got another one of these double barrel shell ejecting blaster. And this time finally we got a version that came with a buttstock. Well, it kind of looks a little short though. But thankfully we are not short of shout out names. For today's Saturday shout out, I will have to thank Ice Froze and Sanjeev Vic for always supporting the channel. Want a shout out? Leave as much comment as possible in the comment section and I will be picking a couple of you guys for a Saturday shout out. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you don't want to miss this. Just like I never miss thanking Mac Potato for always hooking me up with something like this. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dye blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dye blaster. If you guys are interested to get yourself one of these, link will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a buttstock, a pair of buckshot shells, 10 tiny darts, 6 shells, 20 darts, a fake reflex sight, a bag of hardware, and a manual. To install the buttstock, align the buttstock with the blaster and push it in place. Grab a nut and screw, put the nut at the right hand side, and put the screw at the left hand side and screw it tight. This is how you put the darts into the shells and to load in the shells, press down the lever and open up the blaster and then push in the shell in each of the barrel and close the blaster. And this is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the color combination as well as the silhouette of the blaster looks pretty similar with the JH blaster without the buttstock. I mean, guys, take a look at this. So technically, I would say that this is actually a longer version of that blaster with a buttstock. Generally, I would say that the build quality is the same. The entire blaster is made out of ABS plastic. The buttstock of this blaster is a weighted buttstock. I'm pretty sure that they actually put in some sort of a metal behind here to make it, you know, feel a little bit more uh, heavier which then gives you a plausible effect that this blaster is of higher quality but seriously no doubt it actually makes this bus stock feels extremely solid but generally i would say that the quality of the blasting is the same with the uh, shorter version over here just that this is a lot more heavier the bus stock that came with this blaster looks pretty nice because there is like a uh, five holes over here which allows you to put in like uh, shells over here yeah, just in case you want to look you know tactical or something like that so overall you can actually put in five shells to me, as a six foot guy over here, this bus dog is a little bit small, so aiming with it is a little tight for me. But with some time, I'm sure I can get used to it. By the way, it actually uses the same kind of shells with the shorter version. And speaking of shells, just like the shorter version, this version also came with a pair of buckshot shells, which allows you to fire three of these tiny darts in the same time. Speaking of similarity, the priming mechanism of this blaster is exactly similar with the tinier version over here. You just have to you know press this lever over here and it will open up the blaster just like so and what you're gonna do is to press the barrel all the way down until you hear a click and then you can push in the shells oh i just like this sensation of loading shells and then close it up. As usual, you will have the options of firing each of these barrels separately or just firing both of them in the same time. So what you're gonna do is to slightly pull the trigger, that is one shot, and the second level of trigger squeezing will be your second shot. Press the lever and push the barrel down for that really cool looking shell ejecting. If you wanna fire both of the shell in the same time, just squeeze as hard as possible. Just like so. The grip of the blaster is actually okay. I would prefer it a little bit bigger, but generally I would say that it will fit most hand sizes. The trigger pull of the blaster is pretty smooth and solid. Similar with the shorter version, I do not encourage you guys to mod this blaster to stronger spring because the priming mechanism is basically held by just a tiny little plastic piece over here. The picky teeny situation of this blaster is a little bit underwhelming. It only comes with a tiny roll of picky teeny roll on top of the blaster which you can actually occupy it with the uh, included fake reflex sight over here which I do not recommend using it but since this blaster does not really come with an iron sight you can you know kind of use it but I would rather believe my eyeballing technique so far my eyeballs never fail me so yep I guess that's all of the quirks and features of this blaster so without further ado let us go test the blaster out
Ok, ok, we are back! The performance of the blaster is as expected because this is basically a toy level grade kind of a blaster. This blaster can shoot from 51 FPS all the way to 60 FPS. Pretty similar with the previous one though. The accuracy of this blaster is actually not bad. In 5 meters, hitting a target is not an issue. As usual, the buckshot always surprises me. In 5 meters, all of those dots hit the target and I was like, oh! Holy moly, love those bug shots. Overall, operating this blaster, I did not encounter any jams, which is a good thing. The shell ejecting works perfectly, everything just works smoothly. The priming works flawlessly. The separate barrel firings works perfectly as well. Just that when you try to fire everything with one squeeze of a trigger, you might realize that there will be a reduction of firing velocity. Other than that, I have absolutely no complaint about this blaster. And not to mention that it even passes the wall test. It looks looks extremely nice when you decided to hang this on the wall. You might want to paint this blaster up a little brighter if you decided to bring this out to the field because it is still kind of dark. Overall, I'm having a lot of fun with this blaster. Surprisingly, a pretty straightforward and simple blaster. So I guess that's it. If you guys like this video, feel free to smash the like button to help this channel. And while you're at it, remember to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I will be posting videos every Saturday, maybe once in a while on Wednesday. And if you want a shout out, leave as much comment in the comment section and I will be picking a couple of you guys from the comment section and give you guys a Saturday shout out. So yep, I guess that's it. Gordon's checking out and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Yadios, guys! Yeah.